Hey, we started getting stuff in for some of these projects. Over here, we've got all the brakes for the 63 Galaxy. This pile over here, there's the gas tank for the Galaxy, the bumper for the Galaxy, the fuel line, the springs, sill plates. Um, all these Willwood brakes are for the 72 Challenger that's coming in. Um, that right there is also Willwood stuff. Um, bumper guards for the Galaxy, uh, just, just a lot of stuff. So we're gonna be able to start disassembling that car and we'll have everything for it when we go to assemble it. Um, let's go out here and take a look at something. Got the axles sandblasted and painted uh, for the 86 GMC. We've got springs coming from General Springs should be here. If not this afternoon, they'll be here tomorrow. So we'll be able to put this chassis together and make it a roller, and then we can get to work on getting the motor, transmission, transfer case, and all that put into it. Over here, this is the front axle. It's all been painted. It's uh, POR15. Um, we're not, as you can see, the uh, front end components, the brakes, things like that. We haven't painted because we're replacing all that. It's all going to be new stuff. Um, and then you saw Bobby's doing the back of the cornet. Austin is drilling holes for the spot welds. And right now Matt's over there working on the Corvette and having a blue ice pop. Um, so I'm going to give it back to those guys and let them talk at you for a little bit and explain what it is that they're doing or tell jokes. Either way, I don't care. <laughs> well, I do care. You know how it is. Um, oh, come out here. I know, don't show me walk. What's up, everybody? Quick update on the uh, Stingray. Uh, came in this morning and got these control arms bolted back up. I see your shim there. Check out the shims. Check out the shims, Austin. Got them in the correct location. Got them all bolted up, got the wheel on. This side over here, where I'm at now. So I got the control arm in. It's tight. Got the shims in. New bushings. So where I'm at here now, it's got the, uh, only thing I got left is the ball joint. So I'll, uh, Cut that zip tile, put the jack under here, raise this up, put the nut on, put a car key, tighten it up, put a uh, car key in it, bolt the wheel on, we'll be done. And then we have here, why are you grabbing stuff out of my mouth? <laughs> Do I have a light on? Is your light on? So no. we got a new uh, electronic choke. <laughs> right. So check it out. So we'll take this one out. It's got the old manual choke. And uh, we'll take this one out, swap it out. And then uh, we're still waiting on a muffler. Take the, uh, we already showed y'all the exhaust and all. But there's one of them. We're waiting on another one. So advanced part advanced auto parts slipping. They're slipping. But that's where we're at. We got Bobby down there working on the cornet. He's made a lot of progress um, this morning. You might want to go shoot some of that. Yeah. Mm. What's up, you guys? Another update on the uh, sting right here. Got uh, the lug nuts. There was two lug nuts that were messed up. Uh, got them fixed. Oh, uh, oh, die. Just chase threads. It's all right. But uh, if you go back and look at the other video on this car where we did the uh, started on the exhaust and the guys mounted the wheels uh, mounted the tires on the wheels the other day in the parking lot if you go back and look at the guy torquing them down um, uh, I think it was a little too tight 
but uh, I took a couple of the studs off here to fix that one, and I noticed a lot of the threads was uh, still stuck in the still stuck on the stud. So I think it's a little too tight. They say 75 foot pounds, but I don't I don't think so. It's a 716 stud, so there's no uh, drag car here. But either way, so yeah, I got all that fixed too. By the way, so and then while we're in here, we're gonna head to. Uh, Put new shocks in there. I got that done just a second ago. Pretty easy. Two bolts. Just uh, take your nut off the bolt on the bottom. Unscrew that. It'll fall out. You put your new one in and tighten it back up. How could you forget to cut the compressor off? Sorry about that, y'all. Austin. He's about to get fired. But anyway, I'm just kidding. Austin does a good job. Um, what were we talking about? The shocks, studs. What else we got left on this thing? All right, so we got the choke. I still got to do the choke. Still waiting on muffler. I don't know about this advanced auto parts people, man. I think we're going to have to do something. But anyway, we ain't gonna badmouth nobody in anything today, but how was your weekend, Austin? Mm -hmm. Good. Was it good? What'd y'all do? I replaced the good normal good. Y'all got some footage on that, didn't you? Yeah, just some time lapse. Just some time lapse. And That's replaced good. the oil. You replaced the oil? Oil change. You did an oil change? Yeah. You a mechanic, ain't you? Moving on up in this world, ain't you? That's good, man. But, uh, Austin cut all the fans off on me. I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. One of the guys in the comments mentioned something about having a church made that says something about cutting fans on or something. That's a good idea. Very, very hot in here. Uh, yeah, shocks, rear shocks, fixing studs. So all I really got left to do is uh, go around and retorque all the lug nuts to the proper uh, torque specs. A couple chugga chuggas. But anyways, yeah. So that's what we're doing here. This Corvette will be leaving today, probably. Hopefully, uh, just choke left. <clears throat> Just choke lift. And the muffers, of course. I guess I need to go ask Jim about them muffers. He asked me about them earlier. I don't know, he might have forgot. He's been pretty busy this morning, ordering parts, talking to customers, and we'll let him keep that job in there. It's pretty stressful dealing with all that stuff. Is that enough, Austin? Probably not. Do I have your permission to quit talking? 
Can't talk about uh, that stuff. What are you talking about? Let's go talk about this stuff. Come on. Any joke, man? Do I have any jokes? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't memorize jokes like Jim does. He's it's weird. Ah, fan fuck. All right, Joe. I'm not the uh, body man expert, body panel expert, or anything like that. But I've been helping Bobby a little bit with this this morning. Bobby's been doing all this mainly by himself while I worked on the Corvette and the uh, Roadrunner. But uh, I have to a little bit. This is what he's been working on this morning. He got the uh, trunk pan in. He got it all test fitted. He uh, went back and made us some lines. He had to go to uh, uh, take care of some personal business today. So uh, he should be back later today. But we got Austin in here drilling holes for our spot welds. And uh, once Austin gets that done, what he's going to do is he's going to go along and drill about every three, two and a half, three inches. And then we'll go back and grind a little bit on that to knock the paint off so we can get a good weld. That's key. Uh, you got to clean your metal before you can get a good weld, get good penetration. Um, so, yeah, like I just said, so... Once uh, you get all those drilled, you can uh, just go back and just grind the paint off around it. And uh, we'll stick it back in the car, reclamp everything with vice grips or um, self tapping screws in the spots that you can't get a clamp in. And then we go back and weld it all once we're happy with the fit. And of course, you got to measure. Always measure before you weld it up. Because once you weld it, it's it's tough taking it back apart. But uh, maybe when Bobby comes back later this evening, um, he can go over that a little more with you or y'all. Yeah, that's what we're working on today. Um, yeah, as soon as I wrap this. Okay, I took Great White out to pick up a motor today uh, for Mike's 68 Mustang. Come on over here and take a look. Uh, all of this stuff came out of a, uh, not sure what it initially came out of, but it was in a 93 Mustang. So it's a GT40 head uh, 302 that we're, we're going to go through it, make sure everything's okay get it painted up um, we've got some extra stuff that came with it that we may or may not use uh, we'll see but we got a nice X pipe uh, long tube headers a lot of lot of cool stuff we got for this car uh, what happened was we kind of snoozed on getting a motor built for it and right now with the delay in everything because of whatever's going on out there uh, it's gonna be about six months before we can get a motor built and, and that's not acceptable so we're going to freshen this one up and pop it in the car and, and uh, 
we'll go from there. We're not using a five speed. We're going to put an automatic overdrive in it. And uh, it just is going to end up being a real nice car for them to drive. We're going with a whole CVF racing uh, pulley assembly, new alternator, new AC compressor, new power steering pump, everything. So the front of it's going to be dressed up. We're painting the motor Ford blue, which is really going to look nice against the, the candy apple red car. And that's, that's about it for that. But I heard this car run, and I saw this car run, and uh, it was a good car. I mean, it's going to be uh, certainly a little more in their foot than the six-cylinder automatic that was in that car. Uh, but I think this is, this is just what they're going to need, and it saved them a ton of money for us to go and get this motor. So uh, that's it.